boys and girls, we are going to go ahead and get started on Bible this morning. And so I am so excited to be singing some Bible songs. We are going to start with this little light of mine. So get your light out. I don't have my light today. We're going to use our finger and we're going to go ahead and start with that song. Ready? This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, nope, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, nope, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't let anyone it out, I'm going to let it shine. Don't let anyone it out. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. You did such a good job singing that. Your sh I bet your light was so bright. And if you even have a little toy that has a light, you can definitely use that and you can sing that on your own as well. We're going to go ahead and sing one more song and then we're going to talk about our new Bible story just for today. So let's go ahead and sing, My God is so big. Are you ready? My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. My God is so big. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. The mountains are His, the valleys are His, the stars show His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. You did such a good job singing just now. And now it is time for our Bible story. So go ahead and have a seat. Make sure you're sitting down. Your feet are not moving around. Make sure they're nice and still touching the floor. And then we're going to fold our hands and we are going to make sure our listening ears are on. So put your listening ears on and then fold your hands again. And we are going to be talking about the boy we talked about yesterday. And this boy's name was... Can you remember? His name was David. And we talked about how David was a shepherd. His job was to protect the sheep. And we even talked about how when danger came, when a lion came, when a bear came, David was brave. And he knew that he wanted to be the best shepherd that he could possibly be. And he defended and protected his sheep from the lion and from the bear. And even though he was scared, God helped him to be brave. And so he was able to kill the lion and the bear. He trusted God to take care of him and help him take care of the sheep. And boys and girls, we talked about how even when we have small jobs or big jobs, it's important to do our best. And David knew that his job, even though it might not have been the biggest job, being a shepherd was an important job. No matter what kind of job you have, you have to do your best. And today, we're going to talk about a prophet named Samuel. And Samuel was God's helper. And one day, Samuel was at home, and God told Samuel, Samuel, I need you to help me out with something. I need you to go find the next king of Israel. Now, I don't know if you remember, but David and his dad, his whole family, lived in a country called Israel. And so Samuel obeyed God, he packed up his stuff, and he got ready to go find the, the next king of Israel. And so he went to Jesse, David's house. So he came and he knocked on the door and he greeted him and he said, Jesse, God wants me to have you call all of your sons. So Jesse went and he said, all right, boys, come in. And he called them all in. And remember, how many brothers did David have? He had seven brothers. So he had to call all of his sons in. So he said, boys, come in. And he lined them up for Samuel. And Samuel started looking and examining. And he said, okay. And he looked at the first one. And he said, God, is this the one you want me to anoint to be the next king? And God said, mm-mm. And so he went to each and every brother. And God said, nope, not this one, Samuel. Not this one. 
And then finally Samuel said, God, well, where's the king that you want me to pick? I don't see one here. And God looked at Samuel and he was looking at the boys and he said, Samuel, you're looking at the outside. You're looking at how tall these men, these boys are. You're looking at how handsome they are, but I'm looking at their heart. He said, the king is not here yet. And so Samuel turned and he looked at Jesse. David said, and he said, are all of your sons here? And he said, well, David's still outside. He's watching over the sheep. He said, call him in, call him in. And so he called him in and David came in. He had no idea what was going on, but he obeyed his dad. He lined right up with his brothers and Samuel saw him and God said, that's the one. I want you to pick him to be king. And so Samuel that day took some oil and he put it on David's head as a sign that one day he would be king. Now during this time, Israel already had a king, but when that king was gone, David would become the new king. And God had picked David because remember, he had given him that small job as a shepherd, but God had seen how much David loved God, how much God trusted God, and God knew that if David was going to trust him and love him as a shepherd boy, he would love and trust him as a king one day. And I think that that is such an important reminder, boys and girls. Even though you may think that doing your work is really hard and you want to maybe rush through it, taking the time to do our best is going to show mom and dad how much you love and care. And it's going to show God how much you love and care about what you are doing. And it is so important to always do our best. Now it's time to review our Bible verse. I hope you're ready to do that. Let's go ahead and get ready for that. Make sure your hands are ready to do your gestures. And then let's go ahead and just look at our card here. Matthew 8, 27 says, Even the winds and the sea obey him. Matthew 8, 27 and let's go ahead and do that with just our gestures. Here we go. Are you ready? So ready? Matthew 8, 27. Even the winds and the sea obey him. Matthew 8, 27. And that is such a good reminder to obey God and to obey our parents. And we are going to go ahead and get ready now for our letters and sounds. So I hope you're as excited as I am. Today is Friday, so we need to finish our week strong. I will see you in a few minutes. Go ahead and use the restroom, get a snack if you need a snack, maybe walk around, get the wiggles out, and I will see you in just a little bit. Bye.